Well, I also gave the uh, the hub a coating of it's actually matte black paint, but I think it uh, I think it's turned out okay. Quite happy with that. I'm going to put uh, a coat of uh, clear lacquer onto it as well, um, just to protect it a bit, and then it might give it a little bit more of a shine. But considering that's supposed to be matte paint it does have a little bit of a reflection to it but obviously it's not totally glossy so there we go quite happy with that anyway that's uh, this isn't actually poundland's finest paint there wasn't any in stock this is home bargains 199 for 400 mils black paint Applied a layer of top coat or lacquer to the hub. I think it looks okay. These marks are obviously indentations in the alloy, but uh, I think that finish is fine for my needs. Uh, I've got to give a couple of little coats on the brake bar, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Well, I've been watching enough TV tonight, so I think I need to do something practical. So, uh, I've got my spokes, uh, the monkey bike spokes. And I've got all the nipples. There's a big bag of nipples in there. And then I've got the rim. So this is the, uh, the rim that's going on, the three and a half. And I'm just going to start lacing this together. Well, that's me put in the first inner spokes. So the way I did that was I started uh, one to the right from the valve stem hole. And then obviously you start roughly two away from sort of straight ahead so it's obviously not straight ahead exactly but see that straight ahead there i went one two and then i took that across into there and then i just do one two and then once you've done one two you do one two three four now one of the things i'll say is that should fairly naturally point in the direction of this spoke. So if you're not pointing fairly naturally in the direction of that spoke, you've got something wrong. So I'm now at this point where I've done one half and now I need to flip it over and then I need to do the spokes in the opposite direction. So that's where I've got. Now that's, this has literally taken me a couple of minutes to do that. Uh, laced it up so there's the individual pattern like you know two that way and two that way crossing each other um, they've not been tightened up yet I've just put them in you know there's still some of them are still loose what I've found is you'll find that certain spokes whether it's the inner or the outer tend to be uh, tighter than others. So the ones that look green here, which are the ones that go inside, they seem to be tighter than the outer ones for some reason. And it's the same on both sides. But once I start tweaking them up, uh, it should all come together okay. And if you just put them in roughly, you know, to take, take, the, take the slack out of them, they should come fairly centralized without even having to do anything well says he the man of experience having done one motorcycle wheel the front one so uh, I'll just leave that for tonight and then tomorrow I'll get a spanner and I'll get a set of forks and I'll put it in and I'll start tightening it up
on it and then I'll start to true it. Well, that's the wheel all spoked up. It's not tensioned yet. It's just simply put in, you know, with some of the slack taken out. It needs to be trued properly yet. I did actually end up taking the spokes out uh, and starting it again because I just wasn't happy with the pattern. I ended up, I had uh, on the outer edge, <clears throat> I just had far too much thread left. So I did actually use two or three guides um, to build wheels previously. And I did the same thing again, where you, know, you go in here, and then you go one, two, three, four. But I went in and I watched another guide and it was saying not to bother so much about, you know, this and then the number, apart from the, when you get here, you go to the second hole and then this spoke starts here. And then the spoke that's in the second hole, it's one, two, three, four. Well, I did that for the inner spokes. So they're the ones where the, you see the, the end of the spoke sticking up. So the tip I would give anybody is make sure you've got your spokes going in whichever way at the top and then whichever way at the bottom because it will become very difficult uh, to get the, the spokes in if you don't get these things in place before you start putting the nipples onto the threads here. The, the top spokes, they're very easy. <coughs> Excuse me. They're very easy to put in because they just drop straight down. But again, what you're looking for is the natural angle of the spoke. Um, and when I actually redid it, I decided I'm just going to go with the flow and I'm going to use the marks. So there were the marks on here previously that were into the alloy. Uh, I followed that and got the applicable shoot across and then it's fine. But I still do have, you know, excess bits of spoke sticking out which will be trimmed off once I get the thing fully trued. So it's absolutely bucketing down with rain here today and it's time for some lunch. Uh, I've probably spent the last hour going over this and then uh, turning up the spokes individually with uh, I think it's a six millimeter that is, six millimeter spanner. So I did try putting my <clears throat> front wheel into the forks, but it's too wide. Um, I'm going to take uh, take the swing arm along to my friend's house, who's got a very good bench and a strong vice. I'm going to put it into that and true it up using the uh, the cable tie method. <laughs> 